Welcome back, knights, to another Grand Cross video. I'm your host, BeachPH, and today we're going to be going through the new episode of Boar Headlines. Breaking news, but JP, we celebrating his third anniversary, and of course, the most requested character to be coming for this year's anniversary, Assault Mode Esterosa. He'll be... Wait, we're doing Elizabeth again? We did it for the first year. But we have Esterosa already in-game, why are we do? Light bloody Elizabeth will be joining the roster as the first light type character and she has been revealed by this new artwork right now on the screen. As you can see, they've clearly indicated that she's going to be the first light type character. And if you want to see my breakdown of what she actually could look like in game, then I highly recommend watching this video right here to get up to date about how this character could work in the game. Okay, so all jokes aside, we're going to keep the background because, well, we're in the studio, so we might as well keep it. But yes, Light Elizabeth will be the anniversary character. And we kind of knew this. Hope Most of us are hoping it wasn't going to be her, but yes, it is her. And but coming along with her, which once again was leaked, is this new Hawk that is um, going gonna to have the same passive a little bit to like the old one, where it's going to keep her going up and down after certain periods. But at least it works in PvP. So as you can see right now on the screen, this is the guy's skills. And uh, increases all sorts of allies when ultimates are full by... 50% it does go back down to 5% which is like what's the point it's not like this guy's gonna be meta the amount of keep in the game but at least it works in pvp the artwork for the character though does look pretty good it looks like he's gonna do like an aura aura and it also has um his demon form basically but the first skill looks like to be somewhat of a decent counter a little bit towards uh red deanda festival one so that is um We'll see how well he works in the game. Might be a usable character. And then the second one is to increase shadow onto all enemies. Once again, I'm not too sure how the character stats are. I've never used Hawk, so maybe that does some damage, but I, I doubt it. But I mean, to be fair, at least he's free and the animations might look good. And then the ultimate at the bottom is to inflict damage and also decrease hatred stats by 40%, which uh, could be quite good against Deanne or even Purgatory Bond. So for the past two days now, Netmarble has been teasing a new banner becoming for this third year anniversary, which will be a free banner a lot of us can summon for. And boys, this is outrageous. When I first heard about it and i swear i thought nah surely not who who's that net marble doing this because this is not this is not their marble we know right but as you can see on the screen now this is the banner so essentially every single day for 11 days you're going to get one free multi and then that will cover up to around 420 diamonds worth so to finish rotation to get your guaranteed copy of go for or zeldris it will cost you 30 diamonds and then to get the extra copy of a subtle medi or obviously lolly Merlin, it will cost you 150 diamonds extra so 180 diamonds to get free festival characters characters or obviously uh how do we go for depending on who you pick and honestly this is just the best ban in the game so far the one elizabeth you know top tier characters or at least the one is you want to get him duped out how do we go for still sought after i myself don't even have a maxed out so getting him for the first time we pog and also lolly merlin and you know a some more mediotis are you know, the, the the okay characters to use in the meta, but the best thing that no one's really, I guess, focused on really is, well, you could possibly get three festival dupes here for only 180 diamonds. That is literally going to guarantee you a copy of any festival character in the game. Festival Deanne, Harlequin, Barn, any character in the game we've gotten so far, you can trade them three festival dupes in and get them for 180 diamonds. I want to say you can trade a copy in for a trade in melee because I think you can trade his coins in. I, I know they're a dark type, but I'm not too sure if you can but i think you can and maybe i'm wrong but we'll see when um a light loader does drop because well trey medi will be coming on this banner too so a free copy of trey medi for 180 diamonds you might, as well take, you might as well take it. But these are the only guarantees. Because, well, you are summoning on the banner. And these are the filler rate. Honestly, not the greatest. But at least half of them are actually quite good. He lets there. The Red Christmas Liz. Even Miguel Da. Bron Hill, would you want to get duped out a little bit. Red Matrona. Just a good banner if you get them. So half the banner is basically dog shit. But the other half is quite good. And uh, getting, uh, for most of us, I would assume will be Red Liz. Or even Blue Alette for the first time. Wouldn't be too bad. Plus, you kind of want to get more dupes from Miguel Da. Just to get maximum damage in the bird. And also the guild boss. So this is um yeah already starting off really really good. But that's not it, boys. Can we are gonna get to vote for who can be on the JP anniversary banner? And well, it's gonna be a sham. I'll be right, I'll be real with you lot right now. It's gonna be a sham on global because we're gonna get the shocking banner. Cause you can vote for one festival character and also three normal characters. So the three normal characters for most of us would probably easily be, you know, Tamiyo and Saru, the new ones, and then the third character. There's no really rare enough to be worried. It. I mean, maybe Esterosa. Oh, no, Esterosa. Chandler. Maybe you vote for uh, Elect because she's still kind of rare, but not, no one really wants her. But, um, yeah, no one really cares about the uh, character. But as long as Tami and Sario are the top two or even the top 15, we're going to have a good banner. But then you can vote for a festival unit. And, well, this is where the problem comes in because, well... 
the top three units realistically should be Traitor Mediotis and Festival Dian. Those two should be the guaranteed two characters. And in the third festival, assuming we can pick three here, like the top three characters, or maybe even top five or top four, it should be Harley Quinn, you know, the big wing king, or even Pagani Barn. I think those are the ones that should go for. Because, well, we're getting a free copy of the one. We shouldn't really be voting for the one. But maybe... <laughs> He'll probably be there. I don't mind too much. But as long as it's Dian and Trey and Melly, then that's, um, you know, Pog. But, well, Global are a bunch of trolls and a bunch of idiots. And, well, on our banner, we're probably going to get a, a Festival Soldiers, a Sotmo Mediodas for our top two festival characters. The one's definitely going to be there for Global because they just love voting for Escanor. But um, as long as Dian and Trey and Melly's there, then we're sorted. But you know for a fact on Global, we're going to get a Sotmo Mediodas, which is like, ah, oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Alright, so it's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Honestly, this was uh, kind of a fun video to make, although I wouldn't do it again probably. The only reason why I did it today was because, well, I kind of woke up a little late towards the news. And um, I thought I could meet me a little bit and do like the boy headlines basically. But which I planned to do in the past, but that idea kind of fell through a little bit. So it was fun to do it today. But uh, one thing I want to bring up is, well, now that Elizabeth is confirmed to be the actual festival unit, a lot of people are like hating on it. And um, rightfully so for one main reason. Well, which is a second anniversary, or the second time now, she's the anniversary character. But like it doesn't make sense they should definitely should have done that but her being an anniversary in net marvel's eyes makes a little bit of sense right because she's the main female lead and well it, it, the way i think of it right is like imagine we're playing black clover mobile and for the anniversary twice in a row for example we got um noel for example that'll be quite hype because noel's actually a fan of favor for a lot of people where elizabeth in seven eight sins isn't too crazy there's um definitely more hyper characters i mean to be fair i probably prefer the end so it's um Definitely a tricky situation towards Net Marble, but but it does make sense to get obviously light a little bit right after Dark Trait and Meliodas. It, it makes sense to start the theme up, and um, they kind of wanted to make the light theme a big anniversary thing, which uh, a lot of people thinking we should have got Mael, and I'll say right now we shouldn't, and we shouldn't get him for another few months now because uh, story mode content wise, he doesn't appear for a, a little bit. At least for him, I think it makes sense to actually to get him when they do the reveal in story mode because it's kind of like a big plot twist uh, compared to getting Pergoli Barn and also Festival King a lot earlier because they actually appear after mayo so um you know we definitely could get mayo anytime soon but i think the way i see it is we should get him after estorosa it's kind of like getting ultimate the one as a unit right that are before getting the actual the one like you know you kind of have to build up to the power scale a little bit so we definitely should get hollywood estorosa first probably actually around july and then i'd imagine we would probably get you know mayo probably for the actual uh, new year's banner because the new year's banner seems to be quite hype we got uh, a assault mediodis then we got trade mediodis so if estorosa or ismail is actually hype enough to be you know warranted the hype for it then i think we could get him for the actual anniversary banner so i i want to mark that down because i want to see if i'm actually right towards um the end of the year but i think this is a good step uh although i don't think they should the series the before like i think nah i think she'll be hired i think if we got the yan for the anniversary that might be a little bit boring i'm not gonna lie so i do think light elizabeth for the fact that he's a light theme character and the banner's gonna be good and the overall like the hype towards the anniversary is looking quite good right now for free festival characters and uh yeah i'm looking forward to actually looking games so boys thank you for watching let me know are you excited for elizabeth who festivals are you picking if we can't pick all of them and also i guess um hawk uh if you if you care about him but boys thank you for watching and uh yeah peace